G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. I'm in the shed, again, by choice, not in the doghouse. It's a dog that just won't stop barking and it goes woof, woof, stops. Woof. I look, I love animals, but I mean, if, if you're going to be a pet owner, you've got to be a bit responsible, don't you? you you've got to be around them and... Make sure they're not lonely, especially if you're a magpie and a dog at the moment. Fuck. Little creatures. Little hazy lager. Little creatures. Little hazy lager. Little creatures got me into craft beer. Some of it. Remember the original Pale Owls and the other couple that sort of were um, on the market at WA in their brewery? I think it is still WA, isn't it? Can't see the can. I'm going to take one stand to drink. Let's have a spin around this. Pink and gold. Hang on. The gold writing. So it's 1.0. God. Sorry, just, oh, I was just a bit taken back then with the can. Little creatures, little hazy like us, so it's a mid string beer. All right, 3.5% ABV. When I say that, 3.5. So little creatures are getting into your mid-strength beers. Like I said, little creatures got me into craft back in the day with Sierra Nevada and a few others. One standard drink, it's, it's got a bit of a spiel on the back and a golden spiel. A go oh, something's going on out the front. Oh, no. It says... Um, Hang on. Think stone. Okay, this is what we've got to think, but does it taste like it? Think stone fruits like apricot, peach, and summer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grapefruit. Oh, yeah. Fucking. Blah, 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 blah. Tip. 375 mil cam, which is what we generally love here in the channel, unless it's crap. Um, It's pink. It's it's mid strength. What a. Oh, it's a boy. It's a boy. Very um, higher pitched tone on the crack. <laughs> uh, very, it was a very uh, high pitch one. Remember those old cans with the two little buttons? You had to press the small one, then the big one. And all us rebels used to try the big one first. Or... Okay, look, little creatures. Um, the little boy, I suppose you'd say, with breasts flying around. It's a wonder that hasn't been censored. Oh, Jesus, I saw a penis. Oh, I can censor it. Look, it is hazy. So is this just a lazy, hazy brewing session that they've marketed? Let's have a sniff. Little creatures in the shed at the moment, keeping away from just the, uh, everybody. <laughs> it smells pleasant. It smells, this is going to be obvious, little creaturey. <laughs> it smells malty but balanced. Some nice hops. Um, definitely getting some citra hops. I'm thinking Centennial. I don't know. I'm going mad. Very sour. But it's got a, a very, yeah, good, good aroma for a mid-strength beer. Look, it, I just bought a carton of that uh, Zesty Pale Ale, which I know a few people don't like by Tinnies. Tinnies? Not Tinnies. Fucking, uh, I shouldn't swear. Um, goat. Uh, anyway, let's get into this. Forget everything else. I'll go. Yeah, a card of that, 60 bucks, 24 cans, 375 mil, 60 bucks. Yeah, this is going to be competing with your Bolter Easy Hazy. Your Hop Fiction, which is just, I reckon, just a fantastic beer. You know, I do rave on about that. This is competing with your mid-strengths. They've thrown in a bit of trendiness on it. This on tap, I could see selling well around some suburbs, some areas. Other places, it just wouldn't sell, I don't think. Like, if you're out bush, people would rather probably just have a mid-strength Aussie adjunct lager out there because some people are just, that's what they've had. There's no variety. If this turned up at Sangonia, uh, little creatures, little, hey, can I, you know, and you're, you're, you're cocky, you go in, you take your hat off, it's fucking 59 degrees. 
Can I grab what's that? What you got on tap? That oh, it's pink, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what is it? Oh, little creatures, little hazy lager. They some of the people would fucking laugh. But you know what? If you actually tried it, here we go. I'm not a religious man pushing religion on you, but you know, it actually. I know what it's like to be stuck in your ways. I know what it's like to be even called stubborn. Me? No. But yeah, try it. Yeah, look, it is fruity. It's very flavoursome. Now, this is going to sound like a crazy critique, and you won't hear this from me normally. It's actually got too much flavour for a mid-strength beer. This actually makes you think you're drinking like a 6-7% hazy IPA, like a fruit bomb. It actually tastes like a heavy beer. So this has just started to impress me that little bit more. There's no way that's 3.5. One standard drink. Maybe I'm just used to drinking good beer or, you know, just what I like. And this comes along, this is a, I'm recommending this to the subscribers. Guys and girls, this is a very, I got a four pack of this and I think it was $21 or 20, just say 20 on the nose, I think. I picked it up and I got a carton, like I said, of the goat, the zesty pale ale, um, just for over Easter, you know. And um, this is very, I'm going to have to have another one of these to really confirm it, but I can't shit on this. 3.5% ABV, big can, mid-strength. This is a very drinkable beer. The mouthfeel is even better than a lot of full ABV beers. Little creatures have done a really non-little job with this beer. They've done a big job. This is good. Jeez, if you could grab... Now, tell me... Now, listen here. Oh, that sounded bad. If you could get a 24-pack of Little Creatures and you could get those cans for 60 bucks... Oh, my fuck. Load them up. Very, very good beer. Very fruity beer. If you like your fruity beers and mid-strength, better for you, apparently. Yeah. Says the crime stats. Oh, fuck. What do they know? How's that magpie and that dog? Geez, that's caused some shit, hasn't it? Grab your popcorn. Why not just leave? see? Well, I know there's a story behind it. And look, guys and girls, I'll tell you. Government departments, and I've worked in them over the years. I will tell you this from my experience. Management are generally fucking don't know anything. <laughs> They make these stupid, dumb enforcement orders, decisions. So someone's complained about this bird. The bird, and the, look, the dog's probably going to eat the bird one day. It'll probably buck and attack it. The bird might even peck the dog's eye out. But 95% of the time they're getting on, no? I don't know. Why intervene? I mean, the thing is, too, as humans, if you look at this rule clinically, we're humans, that's a magpie, that's a dog. We generally shouldn't interact. If you think of wildlife, like if you left everything alone, that would sort it out. And I think humans have introduced so many bastardized species of animals, dogs, toads, cats, pigs. Like we've introduced so many and, and we're, we're, we're modifying genetically dogs like fucking lab or when dogs cross, you know, and and I'm not just going on about everything should be pure, but I'm not fucking, you know, I'm not Hitler. I'm just saying, fuck, you, you know what I mean? Leave the magpie and the dog if they get on, but then don't cage it. You're going against, oh, now they've got to do a... So what came out of today was a big shit fight, right? Once the shit fight and the government intervene, it becomes, you get everybody jumping up in fucking arms. They've seen the cute videos. We haven't seen where maybe something's happened otherwise. Imagine the next minute you see you record a dog and it's mauling a magpie and there's blood spewing out of it everywhere over the floor. 
and it's a pit bull, you know, or whatever. People are going to be up in arms. Why didn't the government do something? Why didn't they just do something? Why didn't they remove the magpie? And you know what? You're going to get, you know, you're going to get so much abuse for doing that. But when something goes wrong, we expect the right answer. And looking into the future is something that people can't do. In my eyes with the magpie and the dog, oh, who'd fucking report that? Leave them alone. I mean, TikTok probably automatically. Or TikTok's pretty free speech. YouTube you've got to watch. Oh, God. But yeah, just leave the fucking dog and the bird alone. Just with the government too. You can really see Australia at the moment in, in a bit of crisis. It looks like it's just going to go a bit pear-shaped. And I hope it doesn't again. Like, honestly, if you've got a bit of super, surely guys and girls are watching that. Watch your super. Um, yeah, look at some long-term investments, but we don't really don't know what's going to happen over the fucking night. Do we? Anyways, let's spread some Easter cheer. I got three little boxes today of um, the little Cabri eggs. And they're Humpty Dumpties, the mini Humpty Dumpties. <laughs> I don't know if you like, can you do that? Mini Humpty Dumpties. And there's, I think, six or eight in a little box. And I've got three boxes of them for the teenager. You know why? Because I like being a fucking dad. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave it at that. Happy Easter. If you see little creatures, little hazy lager, it's not little on taste. What an enjoyable, exceptional, very fruity, very tasty beer. I hope you got your gift, Roy, in the mail. I know a few hang around. And um, I'll leave it at that. And I hope it fits. <laughs> it's from Thailand. It's only one size over there. Anyways, love each other. I'll see you at the next one. Catch us. Got to do that Guinness OO.